We are Sandra and Håkan. Traveling is our greatest passion and we love trying local food. Today our do-it-yourself food tasting made us grow some hair on our chests. And today we're going to go on a self-made quest. We have been to Budapest before, it was nine years ago, so we've already seen most of the major sites. And today we're going to explore the city by trying to locate different foods and beverages that are typical for Hungary. And that are vegetarians, because we have read and learned that Budapest is a great city for vegetarians. And the reason for why I'm shooting this in a weird angle is that we're going to start a tour right back here in the market hall. If anyone knows, please help us and write it in the comments field below. We have found the first thing on the list and it's a hogaska, kind of a scones filled with cheese. It's super dry and it's not a cookie, it's more a food thing. So you can get this with different stuffings. This one is with cheese, but you can get it with potato and cottage cheese and pretty much everything. It tastes like pizza crust. We're gonna save this for later. I wish this was on our list. Is Belgian chocolate on the list? No, I just said I wish it was. We are on our way to the chain bridge and we left the market hall and walking via the shopping street. And there is a lot to buy here in Budapest. A lot of souvenirs. We found a little shop with just Christmas items. There are hats, there are... Hocken is very glad that we're traveling with only carry-on bags. We were walking to catch a bus to the other side of Budapest when we stumbled across this crowd of people hanging outside a hotel. So Sandra is trying to figure out what it's all about. I have asked around, but nobody really knows. We think we are waiting for a Formula One driver. We really don't know anything about Formula One, so I have no idea how we're gonna recognize the driver. <laughs> and there he goes. There is a Formula One race going on in this in Budapest right now and you can see crowds of people outside hotels at the airport and they're just waiting for maybe a driver to come out and we were lucky to see two the plan was to walk across the Shane Bridge here right behind me but it's undergoing construction so instead we had to take bus number 105 We're taking the funicular up to the top, our normal bus, 24 bus, metro bus, was not valid here so we needed to buy tickets and they were about 15 euros for two persons, kind of expensive but still, when in Rome, don't miss Paris.
with a golden ring in his beak. King Matthias' surname was Corvinus, that means crow in Latin. And one time when the king was out hunting, he lost his royal ring. A crow came, took it, flew off, but the king hunted down the crow and got his ring back. And ever since then, a black crow is a symbol for King Matthias. I think it's time for lunch, but we're gonna try to find a cafe to get some pastries. We come from Sweden. It's the land of fika. So why not have fika for lunch? It's a tradition in Hungary to go to cafes. We got a slosh caramel torte, a castle caramel cake. <laughs> Best lunch I ever had. Real quick, we have recently partnered up with iVisa simply because we really appreciate the service that they provide. And now you can get 10% off your next purchase. If you, just like us, love to travel, you know that getting the right travel documents sometimes can be difficult. iVisa is a one-stop shop where you quickly can check if you meet the requirements and to see what options are available for your next destination. So instead of dealing with embassies, you can spend your time planning for your next adventure. To get the 10% discount, you must apply via exploringplanethome.com. Click on the link and your discount is activated. And back to the vlog. Cathedral. It's massive, but it's what's inside that is interesting. To get inside the church, you need uh, a ticket, but we still don't have Hungarian money. So, Saint Stephen was the founder of Hungary, and he was killed in 1083. At that time, they mummified his right hand. Today, it's referred to the Holy Rite. It's buried inside of the church, and once a year, they take the Holy Rite for a walk. It's when they celebrate St. Stephen's Day on 20th of August. First in line, first in parade, the Holy Rite. Now it's time for lunch, real lunch. And we're having langos. Mm. Langos is the best comfort food ever. It's so soft, greasy, cheesy. I just love it. Similar to Jägermeister, and I think you're supposed to have it after a meal. And we just have a lango, so why not? But we couldn't have chosen a better place to try this. Look at it! So cool! And one of the best parts of this place is that each table has a bowl of peanuts. You can just eat them and throw the shell on the floor. It smells exactly like Ferne Branca mixed with Jägermeister. Good. Your turn. I think with a nice cube, it would be perfect. <laughs> oh. 
this is our last stop for today. We are trying out some local foods and some local people has recommended this restaurant. We are having the Zöldzeges Bexo Pulitz Cavalli. Polenta, veggies. Mmm! Really good! This polenta, it's kind of firm. And there's a lot of taste in it. A little bit salty and a little bit crunchy. Mmm, it's so rich in flavor. We had a pickled salad. Let's just say, let's move on. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. bye, -bye. We're ending today's vlog in exactly the same place where we started it, outside the market hall. And today has been a really good day. What was your favorite dish? I have to say the langos. And to me, it was this traditional Hungarian polenta dinner. Tomorrow is a travel day. We have a five hour bus ride ahead of us and we're actually leaving Hungary. Thank you so much for following along and for watching. Hit the subscribe button. See ya. See you.